going to get heated right now because I guess I guess Bobby had enough of this this umpire. Yeah, he's gone too. I think he threw somebody else out of the out of the, out of the game. Now. Yeah, and now he's got Bobby. Bobby's going to get his money's worth. He's got he's a general manager, so he can pay his own fine. I guess yeah, he didn't have to explain it to anybody. <laughs> That's right. Now the runner takes off. It's a check swing. The throw. Got him. They appeal down to first. Double play. It's a strikeout as well. And they're warning the Atlanta dugout now. A helmet came flying out. Bobby Cox, I don't think, threw the helmet. One of his players did. But Bobby's jawing back at Joe West. Somebody's been tossed, and here comes Cox. It was Bobby Cox who threw the helmet out there. Yep. And I think Joe West, when he when he looked over there, saw Lonnie Smith standing up. And we don't know yet whether he kicked out Bobby Cox. For five runs in the third. In the sixth, Mets rally met at the corners. Ryan Thompson shot the third. Is it a double play? The Braves think so. But they call him safe at first run scores. Bobby Cox says, what are you guys looking at? And he gets tossed. Top of the second, Bobby Cox getting more than a little fired up, arguing a check swing call. Um, Bill Hahn doesn't like it. The quick heave ho for Cox. Hockey sent 12 batters to the plate in the first. Bichette up again, strike or not. Glavin says it should have been a strike. Gary Darling says it's not a strike. Bobby Cox comes out. Bobby Cox has some issues. Bobby Cox has some major issues, and he's thrown out of the game. For the sixth, Rockies up. A little adventure with McMichael pitching to Sheffield. Strike, ball. Called it a ball. Bobby Cox said this was a strike. He gets thrown out. I'm reading his lips, he's saying something about a guy and a cane. The problem is the Braves win anyway, but Cox is there, not, not there to see the end of it. Arling's call. Top the six. Glavin facing Andres Galarraga. Walks him. Glavin has words with Darling. Bobby Cox defends his pitcher, and he gets tossed. Two major league RBI for him, and then Colorado Burt stealing second. His 30th stolen base of the year. We'll tell you why in a moment. That is of importance. Javi Lopez doesn't like the call. Chipper Jones doesn't like the call, and he gets tossed from the game. Bobby Cox doesn't like the call. Then again, he's got a headache, so he might as well get tossed and have his Advil early. Goodbye. Goodbye. Top five, still 3-1. One out. Grissom on first. He's pitches in the dirt. Girardi comes up throwing, and Grissom is called out at second. Looked like he got under the tag. That's exactly what's on Bobby Cox's mind as he comes out to argue. Cox and Grissom plead their case at second base. And Cox ends up getting tossed for the extra dialogue. Rich, Ryan Klusko's going to laugh at this. Throw the helmet. Oh, it's a boomerang. <laughs> I don't think that Bobby Cox is ever going to laugh at this. Bobby, you're gone. Two runs scored. Bobby Cox said, well, I'm going to take this one off early. Got into an argument. Frank Pulley stepped in. The argument with Cox and second base up Bob Davidson, all about a Fox call. Tucker lays down the sacrifice oh, bunt. 20-year-old Andrew right. Jones gunned down at third. Bobby Cox says, I beg to differ, or words to that effect. Or he says to the ump, you so ugly when they took you to the zoo, the man at the front door said, thanks for bringing him back. Whatever he said, he got tossed. <laughs> Next play now with one on. It's 2 nothing Dodgers. A mere two batters later. Base is still loaded. 3 nothing L.A. Brett Butler robbed by Mark Lemke. But the throw is late. Run scores makes it 4 nothing. But we've got controversy. Bobby Cox not pleased. Disagrees with umpire Brian Gorbin. The replay shows that Butler was safe. Cox gets the heave. Ho. The moon facing Mike Bielecki. And you be the judge as this ball goes down the line. Fair or foul? Fair or foul? Somebody reaches out. It must be a relative of Jeffrey Mayer. They call it a fair ball and a home run for Boone. Take another look. The guy in the red reaches out. Looks like it should have been a foul ball called. Bobby Cox says, how can you call that a home run? He comes out to argue and gets tossed. The Reds up 6-5. And then Eisenreich at back. White steals second. Well, what the Braves were screaming is that there was interference with Javi Lopez and Bobby Cox is pretty upset. He's off Maddox take a 3-1 lead with Delano to Shields. Maddox thought that was a strike. And had words with Tom Hallian after getting the Shields out. Then Bobby Cox would have more words for Hallian. And Hallian has words for Cox, as in take a shower. But that's nothing news for Cox and Hallian. They have a history, you know. This past Sunday in Florida, Hallian umping third base gave Cox the gate for arguing. And then back on May 30th, Cox was also ejected by Hamilton. These two obviously know each other well, and only on SportsCenter will you get the Cox-Hallion Chronicles. Back to the game now. 
Cards up 3-1. 2-2, two two, bottom of the eighth. You see Jones on in the brush back from Bruski. Jim knocking down Klesko, who wasn't in a good mood already, and he let Paul nowhere know about it. Klesko said, hey, you couldn't hear me. I had my back turned. Bobby Cox went up to stick out for him, and Paul said, you'll be watching the rest of this game from the clubhouse. Martinez in, the man on for Derek Jeter. Throwing down the bunt. Eddie Perez going to second to nail Knobloch. But Joe Torre's coming out for discussion. He thinks the ball might have hit Jeter in the box, and we do believe that's true on the other look. Jeter's and bunt did hit him. Tim McClellan asked for the help. He gets the call reversed. Cox was upset. He got tossed. Bobby Lopez is tagged. Bottom four, one nothing Reds. Runner on second for Ed Tomacy. The fly ball to the left. Brett Boone tagging. Heading for third and more controversy. John Smoltz arguing the Boone slid past the bag. Smoltz and sense. Now Hunter Wendelstedt steps on Smoltz's foot. Then Wendelstedt ejects Smoltz for contact with an umpire. Bobby Cox, not pleased. Cox runs out of the dugout. He touches Wendelstedt's chest. He gets the heave ho. Cox hanging around the dugout, still yelling at Wendelstedt. Cox finally takes off. To the fifth, Marvin Bernard against Smoltz. The bunt toward third, Eddie Perez. Who is he throwing to? And it goes down the right field. We go to second on that play. Check out the replay. Hits home plate actually should be foul and Bobby Cox has a case. He argues and he's gone. Ejected from the game. On Tuesday, Odalis Perez Balk brings some squawking from Cox and he gets the gate before he even leaves the dugout. And Dusty Baker smiles, everyone, as Cox gets the early shower for the second straight night. And Brewer leadoff man Mark Loretta facing Bruce Chin. Umpire Angel Hernandez calls time in the middle of Chin's windup. He says that Lopez, his foot was set up outside the catcher's box. Braves manager Bobby Cox comes out to argue. Umpires are from Mars, managers are from Venus. I feel as though his foot was okay, and you should at least validate my feelings. Not only were Cox's feelings not e validated, he was ejected. And he announced the Braves would officially... ...the RBI. The pinch hitter is Gerald Williams to Tony Batista. He couldn't get out of his glove, then short hopped it. Here comes the play at the plate, Ryan Jordan. Watch the hand appear to get under before the tag is made. Tim Cheetah calls Brian Jordan out. Third out of the inning. He didn't agree with the call. Bobby Cox had already been booted. Again, yeah. 2 Please, where did that miss? It's called the ball. Smoltz is now a tad miffed. He would unravel, giving up two straight hits. He would leave with a 3-1 lead. And after pulling Smoltz, Cox says, you missed by that much. Cox gets tossed after getting his more than two cents worth. Please don't read lips.